We've already set out plans to cut about 1.5 billion over the next few years by introducing a new test based on medical evidence, on the work that we've done with doctors and with disability groups to find more people fit for work and able to get into jobs. But my fear is that all that work's being ripped up here because in fact they want to set an arbitrary target for spending cuts instead. We were already saving around 15 billion pounds over the next few years as a result of keeping unemployment far lower than in previous recessions. So of course we need to keep trying to get more people off benefits and into work. But my concern is these proposals don't do anything to get a single extra person back into work. In fact, the budget pushes up unemployment, pushes up the number of people on benefits and simply cuts the level of benefits they're able to get. And the tragedy is the new Tory Liberal government has cut the Future Jobs Fund, cut the support for jobs and training and is also going to be cutting the number of jobs in the economy as a result of these budget plans. We need sensible proposals which are about getting more people into work and also making sure that assessments are based on the medical evidence and that was the work that we'd done. What I don't think is fair is to have arbitrary uh, cuts that are, have no relation to the medical evidence and instead are simply about uh, cutting people's benefits in the way that they did in the 1980s.